What do copywriting and classic poets have in common? Well, quite a lot actually. Hi, I'm Louisa Schneidman, a copywriter at Comexis, and I know what you're thinking. What are you talking about? Working in advertising, writing at a desk doesn't mesh with the whole go grave robbing with me in a thunderstorm aspect of poetry. And you're mostly right. But trust me, I've read, loved, and written poetry ever since I found my father's poem anthology in the attic, and it has been a constant source of wordplay inspiration. Here's how you do it. Step one, be concise and engaging. Easier said than done, but the poets I personally love really grab your attention right away, play with it for a bit, then reward you at the end with a gorgeous turn of phrase to get you right in the gut. Step two, satisfy your audience. The poem, An Irish Airman Foresees His Death by William Butler Yeats begins with, I know that I shall meet my fate somewhere among the clouds above. And the poem ends with, The years to come seemed waste of breath, a waste of breath the years behind, in balance with this life, this death. The poem and its narrative come full circle to satisfy the reader, and your advertising goal should do the same. It's a classic bait and reward tactic. Hook in a consumer with step one, and step two should reward them with the clever content or product they desire. Step three, broaden your horizons. Short and sweet isn't just a mantra of traditional media advertising. Facebook and Twitter reward short bursts of content spread evenly across the day. Your advertising poem is now a source of engagement for your audience. Don't be afraid to give the short form content a little flair and flourish. In the end, advertising is like poetry. You want your ad to be quick and to hit where it matters most. Until next time, I'm Louisa Schneidman.